in the quarter. Arkansas first and 10 at the Pacific 22-yard line. This is really great. Listen to the crowd, seeing how they were involved in it, watching the play. This is a new play we put in this year. James Rouse, again, a sprint Second draw pass. Did everything that's sprint. going on. Basically, though, Pacific ran everything we thought they would. And this is a great play to take advantage of Quinn's ability to scramble, to make people miss you in a hurry. And uh, also, you know, he's kind of like down there. Great footage, great footage going again right over the middle, trying to go behind Big Freddy, and we do. How many times we run behind Big Freddy in some critical situations? He's on the clock, and that trainer that's added a, the point after. And Arkansas at this point led Pacific by a score of 28 to 7 with 5 minutes and 17 seconds to play in the first half of the ball game. Super big play. We came in the first time we ran this play the whole day, and we thought Quinn does a super job executing. Billy Winston, there's a tight end catching the ball from Mariana. Great job. The guy weighs all about 230-something pounds and uh, can run like that. He's a big target. Their cornerback had to run around him when he did. Now we've got field position, and now we've got to do something with it. We come back with old play that we scored the first touchdown of the season on, and here we come back almost making the same thing happen. Very far back. Quinn goes in. We'll get down there close. We're going to try to do the same things we've done before. And we just run the ball behind Freddie once again. Run the ball this time. Uh, Juju Harshaw, young man from Northeast High School there in North Little Rock. Picked an extra point in this ball game. Gives Arkansas a 35-7 lead with 7.58 to play. Again, a new Arkansas hero was born last <laughs> night. We'll see it on the kickoff. Go get him, Wee Wee. Here's a great kick, and we're, we're kicking the ball a couple of two different ways, two or three different ways in the ball game. And watch this lick coming out of nowhere. Jeff Wee Witzer from Marshall, Minnesota. He's going to tear somebody up fired? running off the field. That's the way to go, Wee Wee. Is he fired up or This what? guy's uh, about 6'3", 220, has played on us, and I guarantee you, you see him on first team all Watch the time this. now. On. Look at this footage. Just act like you were the ball carrier now, and you're going to run all of a sudden. You're going to run up in there where all those big guys are coming. They want the guy with the football, and all 11 are after him. And watch this lick right here. Gee, Mane, great lick, great lick. And oh, Jeff, there ain't anybody I'm happier for than Jeff. And you can see the excitement he gave our whole, all the fans and everybody on the sideline. So Pacific gets the football back, but not for long. First and 10 at the 24. The only fumble I think they have in the game, but we're hustling, we're around, we're scrambling for the ball. Great field position once again. There he is, Albert Harris, who, who's playing a lot in there now. We're trying to play all of our line uh, Gifford is at yep. our left. Uh, Guard position, Rick Aposka's there. Watch it, Carlos, get out of the way. Great running, an arm ain't gonna bring that man down. And I tell you, if anybody deserves a pat on the back, it's Carlos Gatson, Mike. Just 10 days ago, he was our fourth team fullback, had a great scrimmage. He just stayed around long enough to prove he needed to be someplace. He was tough, and so we gave him a place to play a wing back, made second team, and his effort paid off for him this and for his, the Razorback. This is his first career carry as an Arkansas Razorback. That's kind of hard to beat. That's got to be a thrill and excitement in your life. And you go in there, second play, you play, you block one play, and then you carry the ball for a touchdown. I can, you can just imagine the, the adrenaline flowing and the, and the way he feels. And he'll never forget that feeling the rest of his life. No question. The point after is good. Arkansas needed just two plays to cover the 23 yards. It's 42-7 at this point, 7.04 to play in the third quarter. And you could say safely that Arkansas has indeed reestablished its dominance here in the third period. It, it sure has. Now we're going to see some exciting time of people old Jimmy Williams. Everybody's been looking for the other guy, and here's a guy. We come right in, and watch Jimmy. He sits up in the pocket. Look at the ball. Holy Toledo, a great throw, a great catch. Derek Russell, and uh, this young man certainly showed a lot of poise in his first ball game. He played two years of college ball. He's not played before. He's a great Razorback fan before, and this is a thrill and excitement. He looks like he throws with such ease. He does. You see him sit in the pocket. He's got it. He knows where the ball's going. You just follow the trajectory and follow the ball. Is it on the money or is it on the money? Good gracious. All he does is hit him in the hands with about a half inch to spare. Well, Please, they stayed going. in there. They executed as well as they did. Great poise, great throw, super protection. And uh, that, that's a, a different aspect and, uh, now we got the same thing going over right guard. How many times? That's the fourth time we've seen in the film. We went over right guard in a similar play. 
This is uh, Cody Moser from Hope, Arkansas, red shirt freshman. You have to go over right guard. You certainly can't go around. Sure can't. We, we just think that Freddie and uh, Cody Moser are doing a great job for us there. And here's a good uh, picture of it. Dwayne Spann does a good job, you see. And uh, there's a whole juju that shows some great running ability to run to daylight. And we've heard that term many times from the, the great Vince Lombardi. Yeah, that was impressive. Another 88-yard drive, 10 plays, and uh, Jimmy Williams four for four in that particular drive. And Arkansas leads 49 to seven at the end of the third quarter. And Bland brings it to the line of scrimmage. This is a, a play we, we a counter play I talked to, to you earlier about. It's been a great goal line play for us. Biggest thing right now we're trying to do again is, is look at your fundamentals of the game. Carlos, there's something I really liked about him, and I really could see it. And many times I think he got disappointed, as a lot of players do when you're not playing and not having success. There one day he was fourth team, Mike. I told him all, you stay around long enough, give your effort, your diligence will pay off, and you'll help. And he's a prime example of it. Stay in the fight, be persistent. Another big play by your defense here. Pacific third and ten at the 44. Can't say enough about our defensive unit and the way that they play. Ted Schimmer of Bentonville. That's the way to go, Teddy. Not a Ted. bad return. Hey, all he does, Mike, is make a 4.0 when he studies, and he studies his football, too. He just needs to continue, continue to help out and be in the right place. I just couldn't be happier for young man. We had a great uh, rush this time. Kerry Crawford's trying to come up the middle. You see, we're giving him a lot of pressure. There's Chad Rowland, young man from Sherman. And I mean, Teddy's in the right place. He breaks on the ball. He reads the quarterback. Another good block. Looked like Kirk Collins in there picking up a block. And uh, when you have that kind of block in the defense now, with as many turnovers we had, four interceptions, believes in one another. There's Chris Hunter down there trying to make it. James McCoy. That's what has to happen. We believe we can score, and we're going to get a turnover. Everybody's going to hustle. 32-yard return, and uh, you saw him switch arms with that football, protecting that football. He knew what to do with it once he got it. Sure did. He's just not a pretty face. He's a football player. Four plays later. Execution of the triple option. We went back in. We wanted to execute. We've got to get better. The thing that looked the poorest early in the game was our execution of our triple option. John didn't do it well the first couple of times. Uh, David Lee kept saying, let's run the triple option a couple more times until we get a little better in it and feel comfortable. There's a great ride. The defensive man, we did not block, took the fullback. John just came right down and pulled it. They took the pitch. And the triple option, they're going to let one man free. In this case, it's a quarterback. He made the play. He got a touchdown. We're really excited and happy for John and, and his play and the way he's come back and stayed in the fight. Kendall Trainer will add the extra point. John Bland took him in for the touchdown. And Arkansas will win the ball game, the season opener, against the University of Pacific Tigers, 63 the 14 will be back in a moment.